Are you joking? Only Mummy and Emily are going home. What about me? Can I go home? Fucked off, we've not gone back to that restaurant. Norman's Key. You know, it's annoying. Um, because I have a flight to catch on Sunday. Emily and I are having to head home. And it's sad, really. What? You're joking! Bye! Thanks for joining us for another episode of Sailing the Recipe. I'm Colin, and this is my three girls and wife, Bex. And this is our floating home, The Recipe. Together we left home and embarked on a journey of a lifetime. After crossing oceans, we have recently been in lockdown in Antigua for the last eight months. Tune in, hit that subscribe button, and join us every Sunday to see where our recipe takes us next. Nassau. We're about to sail back to Nassau now um, because I have a flight to catch on Sunday. Emily and I are having to head home in order to get her passport. We have um, tried every other option and have come up against a lot of brick walls, um, it, uh, mainly because we live on a boat and so have no proof of address where we are, um, which is a problem. And uh, so the only option is to head home, which is what we're going to do on Sunday. So we need to be in Nassau for tomorrow morning for my COVID test so that I have it in time to travel. And then we're off. We don't know how long it will take us to get the passport. Um, so you don't know how long you're going to be in the UK, right? No, we, no. <laughs> it could be eight weeks. Um, so we're going to go, we're going to do our quarantine with Colin's mum and dad in the south of England, which um, should be lovely. And then I'm going to go and uh, Colin's dad is going to pick me up from Heathrow, bless him. And then we're going to go to uh, my parents and stay with them for a, for a few weeks as well. So <laughs> it's been two years since I've been home, so a bit longer than two years actually. So um, it'd be uh, it'd be exciting to go home and see my mum and dad and Colin's mum and dad. I am insanely 100% jealous of Emily and my mother <laughs> to go home. After two years to see everybody, I'm desperate to go home just to see everybody, touch base with home. It's quite sad. It's okay, I know I'm beautiful and gorgeous, was that? Um, the thing that's good about Mummy and Emily going home is that they bring back some very important stuff. For example... Chocolate. Do you know? <laughs> Chocolate, some new bikinis, some new... <clears throat> some, um, well, mainly just chocolate. Yeah, that's the main importance. But Are you gonna miss mummy? Yes, I am going to miss them both. But I'm also really excited about sailing into the US and welcome to Miami. I'm excited about that. What about the prospect of spending seven weeks with your dad without the saviour of mummy? Um when I first heard it I was happy that we were going that I was going to go home but I don't really want it if I can't have it with everybody else uh, although I don't even have a choice to be honest but if I did I would ask for everybody else to come home with me um, I don't want to rub it in so I'm trying not to talk about it a lot which is 
which is difficult because it's exciting and yeah. Spending six weeks away from the boat, I'm not going to know what to do with myself. I'll, I'll be very bored. There'll be no jobs to do, no cleaning, nothing to fix. I'll, I think I'll be very bored and lonely. It's quite surreal, really. I mean, three days ago, Bex flying home was not an option. We were just severely let down by the passport office. I mean, I suppose during COVID all these times, I think it's obviously what to expect, but it's going to be quite surreal not having my mate on board in all those aspects. Pull it in anyway, Bex. Big boy. I think it's the biggest yet. Do you think that's the biggest one we've caught? Yeah. Well, it has to be 158 centimeters. Was that easy to pull down? Um, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard. So. Today it was only like 14, maybe 12 knots of wind, so it was quite easy to pull the sail down. So um, that was easy, but I'm not looking forward to when the wind is 18 knots of wind. That's so you think you could do it with uh, just Olivia on 18 knots? Maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe. So while my mum and Emily are still on the boat, Jess and I are practicing taking the sail sail down by ourselves. It's um it's easy enough to do in 12 knots, but if it gets to 18, I think we might struggle being just us two. But it's good practice. So when we sail to Miami, Jess and I are gonna have to be the deck crew. Which we're okay with that, but it'll be uh, weird without my mum around. And Emily, because since there's only four of us. What are the kids doing? Making supper, hopefully. Daddy's, Daddy's been on it the last few nights. He's did the most amazing Mahi curry last night, which actually you need to film that, because that's something really special. And, um, and then the night before... Beef stroganoff. Yeah, I was a lazy cow as, as well. Daddy did beef stroganoff heaven and we still have some left and um, which I might mix into what we're going to make today <laughs> and, uh, so yeah the girls are on supper duty and Colin and I are on sundown duty and it's perfect <laughs> it's been my last sail before I head home to England and it's been sweet glorious weather really really we've had like 12 to 15 well not even 15 knots of wind it's been absolutely calm as calm as christmas and we've just had our big g2 out and we've been getting a steady five to seven knots throughout the day we coasted past our mates on moonfleet and um the 
a couple of hours behind us now, I reckon. We're coming into Nassau, we're going to chillax, have a quiet day, and then it's Covid test central tomorrow. Morning. Got your coffee? What are you up to now? Uh, it's nice and early. Emily and I are going for our COVID tests so that we can get on our flight home. Nice. Getting something jabbed up your nose again. Having something jabbed up my nose. Happy not having that done. After that, we're going to go and explore. We're currently just getting a little bit cross with Colin because he's decided he doesn't want to come with us. But we, we want to go around the National Art Museum of Bahamas for Emily. And um, we want to go around Fort Fortescue, which looks quite fun, and do a little bit of culture. Ooh. Got a bit of culture. That's another nice morning in Nassau. Home without me, douchebag. <laughs> I'm not having it in your face. Okay, I've sent. When we pack it, I've sent those forms off. You know, your signed forms off. He should have them. I've asked him to confirm by return if those are sufficient. Is there anything else you need me to do? Can you just ring us while we go into my home and just be like, walk us through every step? <laughs> what would I do without a mother? So it's going to get stressful. No. Who's going to get shouted at? I'm going to get, get shouted at because I'm going to get me and Jess going to get shouted at because <laughs> What did she say? I can't remember what she said. Well, I can't remember what she said. But you're supposed to remember what she said. No, you're supposed to remember what she said. Your driving license. Okay. Where do you want me to put that? Shall I stick in that there, in your passport? In there, yeah. Okay. No, this is me and Emily. Emily wants to know how to do travel. So she's going to deal with all of I'm literally going to follow her around while she... Yeah, good, good. Might end up yeah. point. So it takes to Amsterdam. So you'll need printed forms as well to say that your COVID test to enter the US, yeah? You understand? That COVID test will give you eight days. You'll be fine. Anything else you can think about? So, That's everything for the beta. Okay, so you have to turn up at the American Embassy at this time. Yeah. You've got Byron's number. This is all the information you need. I have given you a list here of everything that you need to take. Mm. Okay? You have everything. You need to do the passport photos, yeah. which we're going to do. Tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and you've got to take the passports, which will be in here. You've got the printed sheets. You're already washing down the whiteboard with job lists. And uh, we should be writing them down later this evening. And this, um, I think this is my daughter. She looks a little bit different today. The fact she's going home. Um, what's it like to wear shoes? That's what I want to know. Oh, it feels weird. I feel like... Socks and shoes. It's been a while. Honey, you're going to be cold turning up in England in shorts. So, the time has come that um, Bex is leaving. <laughs> Bex is leaving me! So, I think she's going to be leaving for about between four and six weeks, which is unheard of. So, uh, well, certainly for us. So it's going to be quite interesting. The other two are uh, a little bit concerned about the, the way these four weeks are going to go. Stuck with you now. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Join us next week where we waste no time getting all our jobs done. We get the passport issue sorted for Miami. We go.
girls start organizing their boat jobs, getting it all listed. They pull apart all the fridge freezers, reorganize the shopping, the provisioning. I get stuck into mechanics and work on that piece of teak I've been dreading. 